So now we're going to be dealing with a normal distribution with a mean of 50 and a variance of 9. So because variance is 9, that means the standard deviation is, of course, 3, the square root of 9. In order to solve these problems using our tables, we're going to need the formula z is equal to x take away mu over sigma. So remember, you don't get given that. You're going to need to learn that. So how do we deal with these? Well, in utilising this formula, the idea is that from the information we are given, we need to find the value of z, which we can do using our tables. And the value of x here is actually the value of a. And so once we've got our value of z, we can plug it in here and work out the missing value. OK? So the first thing that we need to think about is finding out that value of z. OK? So think to the standard normal distribution. So don't worry about the fact that we've got 50 and 9 here. I'm just going to go to the standard normal. So the area to the left is 0.81. So that's the value I want, and that's 0.81. OK? So because of that, I'm not using my calculator, I'm <laughs> using the tables, OK? Because of that, I can work out the value of z. OK? Now, sometimes this is written as the uh, inverse norm of 0.81. Sometimes this notation is used, phi to the minus 1. You don't have to use that notation, OK? Uh, but it's nice to have seen it. So you're looking up 0.81 in your tables. So this is table 2. So 0.81 is 0.8779. OK, that's the z value that goes into the formula. So 0 0.8779 is equal to the x value is the value I'm trying to find, a. Take away mu, which is 50, divided by sigma, which is 3. And that gives me an equation to solve. So 0 0.8779 times by 3, then add on 50, and we get 52.6337. So A is 52.6337. OK, now does that make sense? Well, if that was 50, now it's 52.6337. That makes sense that it's to the right. OK. Right, so let's try the next one. So number 2. The area to the left of B is 0.32. Right, let's go with the standard normal again. The area to the left of B, so I'm going to put that as Z, is 0.32. Right, so I can't look up 0.32 in my tables. I've got to look up the 0.68. So, 0.68 is 0.4677, but we're using the mirror image, right? Um, so the mirror image of that would mean that we've got minus 0.4677. That's the z value, OK? So minus 0.4677 is equal to the x value is b. Take away the mean, so 50 over the standard deviation, not the variance. So that gives me an equation to find b. So whatever this value is, it should be less than 50. So minus 0 0.4677 times by 3, add on 50, and we get 48.5969. OK. Well, that's number two. Right, number three. The error to the right is 0 0.99. So that error is 0 0.99. That's the z value I need. OK? 
Right. Now, I can't uh, look up um, the area to the left. I don't. I can't do that. So 0 0.01. So thinking about the mirror image, if I looked up 0 0.99 in here, I will get a positive value. So 2.3263. So Z must be the minus of that minus 2.3263 because of it being the mirror image. So these last two examples will be using this idea of the mirror image. If you're not quite following that, I've gone through examples of that in the previous videos. Okay, So uh, I'm just kind of like skipping that part of the explanation. So I hope we've, we've cotton on to why that works now. So we've got x take away mu. So x is c. Take away mu over sigma. So minus 2.3263 times by 3, add on 50, 43.0211. Okay? Right, number 4. Right, so to the right is 0 0.03. So to the right, it's 0.03. So what I want to do is I want to look up 0.97. OK, so 0.97 is 1.8808. That's the minus Z value. So 1.8808 is equal to the x value, uh, which is d. Take away the mean, divided by the standard deviation. So 1.8808 times by 3 add 50 is 55.6424. OK, right. Last one. Now, the last one, uh, I haven't gone through any examples of doing this in the previous uh, few videos. So, the idea is that there are these two values that are equidistant from zero. I'm not using z here because I'm using uh, the standard normal. So that the probability in between is 0 0.6. OK. Now, if that is 0 0.6, then and all of it adds up to 1. These two must add up to 0 0.4. And because they're equal, that's got to be 0 0.2 and that's got to be 0 0.2. So, I could find that z value by looking up 0 0.8 in my tables. So, 0 0.8 is 0 0.8416. So, 0 0.8416 must be equal to p, uh, take away 50, divided by 3, So 0.8416 times by 3, add on 50, and we get 52.5248. And that must be the value of P as required.